so we just got through. If y'all ain't noticed, we we're in the same damn club. It just got through talking about gratefulness. You got something else? What, man, like, you got something? And you know, you know what I'm talking about. Um, what was it? The damn, you haven't seen the reaction video to the story of OG though, with the old. No, you told me you were gonna show it to me. Yeah, got my phone. Where's that? Uh, yeah, put out your phone. And your phone's like all the way on silent, bro. Of course. I was watch. praising Jesus today, remember? I didn't watch. I can't so have, the, can't have my phone next, ringing. For the next nine minutes. The following episode contains strong language. Rock Nation. The story of OJ. Oh dear, yes, here we go. Oh. Okay. It's interesting already. OJ, how am I? I don't know. Why is it with all these names going? We're not talking about <laughs> Well, these are older people. Surely. It's older names. Robert. It's Jay-Z, it's right? classic. Fail. <laughs> Come on. He <laughs> <laughs> does look a fail. He does look a fail. We're not to use that word, are we? Like they really don't. Yeah. That's a little offensive. Dog. The watermelon. Great stereotype. Why is that? It seems to be the antithesis 
of what it should be. So that was the new music video for the song The Story of OJ by rapper Jay-Z. That was Jay-Z, the Beyonce's husband. Yeah, he just put out uh-huh. a new... Um, all right, so let's pause real quick. All right, man. So um, you kind of get the gist mm-hmm. of it a little bit, but all right. So the kind of the, the point of this that I, I always saw is that, okay, so they got older people, right, to look at, you know, Jay-Z's, like, super popular song, Sir OJ. You know, these older people, that some of them, are, especially, like, the white man, you can definitely tell. They can kind of relate to a sense because they're born a lot later on in, in time, right? probably, like, in their 80s or something like that, right? So, you know, they had to deal with some form of segregation, racism, and it was very, very more prevalent than it is now. You get me? So, you kind of see how some of them lost track of whatever you was trying to say because they were focused on one thing, which was the N-word. Yeah. You get me? So, you kind of see how they were like, like, some people were kind of like all over the place. Yeah, one of the guys says, no matter what I say, I'm going to be racist. Right. Like, and yeah. It's like, a, it's such a closed mind. It's like, literally, it's such selfish thinking. That you missed the message of what Jay Z oh, was over, well, he was overall trying to say exactly. So I, it, so when I was watching, I was like, eh, okay, like I, I felt like, you know, one like again, like it is it, it reminds me of like you know a lot of like um especially like with us older Hispanics don't understand rap music. You get me? Because for for one, it comes from I guess like a more negative like place. You know, oh they disrespect women and blah, blah you know all that crap. The whatever. Drugs and whatever. Yeah, exactly. So you know. But also, it's almost like in like like this like frequency of disconnect where you can't even understand where it's like oh I, I don't even understand what you're trying to say I don't I don't understand what you're saying I don't yeah, understand like, yeah it's, you know, it's like a close mindedness like you don't really even try to understand to understand it. right because a lot of these rap songs like you know if you really pay attention some you know obviously praising you know this that the third but you know a lot of them also talk about just where they came from. Like, you know, they're talking about what's around them. You, you get what I'm saying? Like, a lot of these things, like, and a lot of people just in general, when you hear them speak and you hear them talk, whatever their subject is, they're talking about things that are just around them. You know, things that they grew up with, things that they grew up around. So a lot of people, I see, they kind, of, kind of don't understand that. Like, they kind of put it to, like, no, well, I don't think like that. I have common sense or whatever their thing is, so they should too. You know what I mean? So it's almost like a, like this blanket statement always. You know what I mean? But, all right, well, let's finish this. Before we talk about what he said about this, what do you think the imagery and lyrics were trying to convey? I don't think it was conveying, as far as I was concerned, it wasn't conveying much to me. There's still uh, enormous uh, prejudice. Trying to convey that no matter what kind of black person you are, it's, things still don't go well for you. It looked like a cartoon from the 30s when those, when those really overt stereotypes were being used. He's really saying what the truth is about the matter. And it's Look the Vera. That wants Vera to talk gets about. it. So I say good for him for putting it out, out out there. There are different types of minorities that are black. You're still um, looked at if you're lighter to be a little bit better and treated a little bit better. And there's so there's a little bit of inner racism within the African American community, which I really find fascinating. Some of us are raised in this country, and we have parents that teach us. Um, when we do make money, how to save money, how to budget money, how to spend money. Unfortunately, there's a lot of people in this country that have never learned that. So even if they get very wealthy, uh, they don't know how to budget. They don't know how to spend. They don't know how to save. They might spend it frivolously, uh, irresponsibly. And before you know it, they can be broke again. Things haven't changed a lot since those days. We're pretty much dealing with a tokens to make it look like we're doing better you get a few famous people like oj that make it look like all blacks are doing well now when they really aren't so shortly after its release jay-z stated that the song is about what it means to be successful and black in america okay that's not what i got <laughs> i got that it, no matter what you did you were unsuccessful the song in many ways may be trying to advise people to be responsible and smarter with their money as it can be difficult to maintain success or know what to do with it when you're black in america do you think that Jay-Z was able to get his point across in the song and video? Uh, I got a little bit of that, but not really. It's a good message that you have to struggle to be successful. I guess his message was it's harder if you're black to be successful. A lot of people pick up on it, yes. A lot would. But the older people will not pick up on that, I know. Because they hate the word. They hate even, even these rappers using it. I think he was able to, but it just depends on, on if you have an open mind. Because if you didn't have an open mind, you right away you start getting offended and you'll miss the whole concept of what he's trying to do. I got it. 
I didn't like the way he did it exactly because I don't like those images. I mean, I grew up with the images like that and uh, being seen as that. So it it's hurtful. Now, the song has received some backlash with quite a few people saying that he shouldn't be using this racial imagery. While there are others who have come to Jay-Z's defense claiming that he is using common stereotypes to highlight his message on race. Uh, I guess that's what he's trying to do. But I find it offensive. So why do you think Jay-Z made this choice to use this imagery? He's trying to get to the certain population, I suppose. He's accepted, period. Because he's a billionaire. He can get the message out, but you got to get out the right way. He has a deep, deep feeling about this particular subject. And he wanted to express it. And from that standpoint, I say go ahead. I just don't happen to like it. And that is my right. One way of exposing um, the, the discrepancies in society is by ridiculing something and making it uh, outrageously silly, but it makes it also very crystal clear what's really going on here. We need to like go back and look at what was going on in the 60s and people were fighting for civil rights and for voting rights and for everyone to be treated with respect. And I feel that this is just so disrespectful to me it's a step backwards i was in the south in the 60s and it was very it was frightening i really really think when it is controversial people really pay attention and that's when you get the feedback smart marketing because now people are, are talking about it whether they like it or not they're talking about it finally do you feel as an elder that when it comes to musical artists that this is an effective way to bring up issues and start conversations it's an effective way to bring up conversations the type of world we live in i'm entitled to my opinion the next person entitled to their opinion i think for many people it's probably highly relatable and it's meaningful to them and it's and it did what he wanted to do the elder people are not going to accept this i know they will not accept because it's all derogatory from a standpoint of not being explained. I think anything that starts conversations is good. You know, if people could just stay calm and relate to each other and talk about these things without getting emotional about it and really communicate, um, we could all make this a better planet. Thanks for watching this episode of Elders React. New episodes almost every day. What do you think? About the video? About yeah, the, the whole thing. What, like, just the, what they had to say, like all of that. I mean, the video, uh, yeah. I always thought that, you know, Jay-Z, Jay-Z uh, talks about this idea of, um, you know, how you're not, there's like two levels of success. There's like white success, mm -hmm. and then there's, you know, color success. Mm -hmm. Like, as, as, like, you know, he says, you know, light skin, dark skin, whatever, you know, you're still, uh, whatever, mm -hmm. you know, you're still um, this derogative term, like, you're never going to reach that success in white America, mm -hmm. right? And then there's people... Like OJ, who who like lose themselves in this idea that I'm not black, I'm OJ. Like I, I like I'm not part of this group. I'm successful on my own. I stand on my own. And you know, Jay Z, you know, is like you know at the end of the day, you're still part of this because society puts you part of this idea. And also, it's like all right, and since we're gonna be here, at least let's understand how to be successful properly. No. You know, like the I, one of my favorite actually the whole song is uh you know yeah I still focus on catch advances. Uh, me and I are still take, are taking real chances. Mm -hmm. You know, he's like, you no, know, his mindset where you are still dependent on a label. You're still depending on something. It's a different kind of slavery, mm -hmm. but it's still the idea you're depending on somebody else to put you on, somebody else to take care of you. Whereas he's, he's you know, he talked about the building that he could have bought or the art piece that now he has. Mm -hmm. He's like, you know, I'm, I'm developing rich shit, like, like real riches that mm -hmm. will last legacies. Wealth, wealth. Wealth, like real wealth, right? That will like legacies, that will develop, you know, those that will come after me. Those will be better off than I was. Mm -hmm. Right and um, but the, the idea is you know he's he's playing on on all of these you know the the cartoons that were historically racist right mm -hmm. you know the words that people use the mindset that people have mm -hmm. right and, and you know and the whole hanging the 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 monkeys you know this idea of, of imagery that that brings you back to slave um, and I think it, obviously. If you're not willing to see it as an artistic point of view, yeah. you might get offended because it's extremely offensive. Mm -hmm. If you don't see it as it's an artist conveying a message that you will, you should be able to understand because you should be able to relate in some way. Right. Right. Uh, as far as for the all the people, you know, you, you mentioned the idea of a disconnect, mm -hmm. right? And so they they might be taking what he's saying a little too literal instead of like pursuing the artistic viewpoint where it's like he doesn't mean that he sees himself as that. He means like society. 
yeah. seasons of that, right? Yeah. You know, because Jay-Z, you know, he's one of the most outspoken people in regards to social justice reforms, mm-hmm. right? And in regards of the developing, you know, black businesses and investing in black businesses and creating your own label, mm-hmm. right? Creating your own sports agency. The dude yeah. does it all, Everything. Yeah. you know? So he's one of those entrepreneurs, like real, you know, mm-hmm. entrepreneurs. So if you know who he is, then you understand that this is more like a social critique, not a, a him submitting to the social norm. Exactly. And, 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 you know, that song right there, I think that, like, it speaks on all kinds of levels, you know what I mean? And, and something very important that, um, not just, you know, black people, but a, a lot of minorities, you get me, could also relate to. He said something, you know, you want to know why the Jewish own all the property in America, right? That's how they did it. It's, it's um, you know, it's stereotypical, however you want to say it, but it's, you know, I think that it's a generational thing that, you know, blacks and Hispanics... Um, don't ever really leave anything for their kids. You mm-hmm. get me for you know like again a legacy, something that you know their kids can stand on and, and continue to build and continue to build. You get me? And you know one thing about I guess like the Jewish is that you know they you know from babies they already have their fun set up. You get me? That's growing and whatever. You get me? And then from yeah. this then they have this set up. And historically, you know, um, obviously like even Israel, Israel such a small country is a very profitable country. Like it makes mm-hmm. a lot of money, yeah. um, but. Even in World War Two, you think about it. Uh, Hitler points to the fact that while all of Germany is struggling, mm-hmm. most Jewish-owned businesses were still successful yeah. because they focused on gold, yeah. right? And the gold was not being losing its value back then. Mm-hmm. And so he was like, "Look, it's the Jewish fault, right? They created that anti-Semitic movement yeah. because look, it's their Jewish fault. How is it that they're successful and we're poor and we're broke? Yeah, right? But it's because obviously they have this culture of you know budgeting and taking care of money and handling bro and and you know using their business to create more business and more wealth. Exactly. Right. Yeah. But you know, then again, if you don't know history, mm-hmm. that's why some of these things yeah they, catch you by they surprise. Kind of, exactly. You know, and and one thing that you know I correlate this to was um you know when Meek Mill was just getting out of um out of jail, he you know he's doing his interviews and stuff. He's saying how he, how you know he's. Chilling with Robert Kraft, um, the other owner of the Philadelphia, yeah, so like the Sixers, name. The Sixers. Um, you know that he he's chilling with all these guys and um, and they're billionaires, and he said that you know the difference between you know rich people poor people is that you know rich people they spend it after they get it and then poor people they spend it before they get yeah. it right meaning that like the second you get that check, it's already like. Yo, I'm going to buy these yeah. shoes, I'm going to buy this shirt, I'm going to buy this, I'm going to buy that. You're focused on buying everything before you even put money aside for you. You get me? Which is like, it's so true. Mm-hmm. You get me? Like a, a lot of people, you know, and, and you know, the reason for that is because, you know, we're not taught that. You get me? Like, I remember I was talking to my mom and so I was like, yo, like, you know, we're learning now. You get me? I'm learning now. But I didn't learn from you guys. You get me? Like, you guys never mm-hmm. taught me how to save money, how to do this. You just, oh, just save money. Just save, like, yeah. you know, like, without any goal, without any anything, you know. Like, to, tangible. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, like, so, like I, and I've talked about this before here. Like, you know, for me, I split my money up in, into, like, you know, very much different sections. Like, I put 20% away here. I put whatever's left over here. I put 30% for entertainment. This is over the expenses. That's how I, I structure, like, my budget, you know, accordingly for me. You know, and it, it's up to me to follow that. But, you know, it's something that I had to learn on my own. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's not something that like, my mom and dad taught me how to do. I mean, it's something that they, on their own, probably are still trying to figure out and learning and all that stuff. But it's, you know, it's something that it's very, very, very hard to break because, you know, as you get money, you don't know how to handle it. You mm-hmm. I mean, like, it, it's true. Look, a lot of people, they get millions of dollars, millions of dollars, that they don't know how to distribute them. They don't yeah, know how to course. take control. They don't know where the money is going. You, know? you got all this money bundled up into one account and you spend, you know, and then next thing you know, you just look at your account you're like, whoa, what the mm-hmm. fuck happened? Like, yo, what the hell? Like, how the fuck? You know what I mean? That, that usually happens. So, I think that the message in there, you know, it's a, it's a lot about social issues and a lot about financial issues that, you know, we yeah, face. Yeah. And the, the idea is that, you know, at the end, but they wasn't interconnected, mm-hmm. right? Because sure. a lot of your social issues um, have cost financial deficiencies, mm-hmm. right? Because, you know, the lack of education, like, um, you don't have the same, uh, you know, access to certain things, certain mm-hmm. information, certain schools, certain whatever, yeah. you know, certain loans, certain, so, you know, you have to subject yourself to some other kind of yeah. stuff, right? But, um, you know, the, the idea is also that is like, you have to create something that would allow the generation that comes after you to be better off. Right. Because if not, you, you're still stuck in this, you know, this gap, mm-hmm. right? Where it's like, white success and everybody else's success yeah because white success is not like white white people have not is like not just generalized right though i'm gonna say it as a generalization you know it's not like they've been successful for a generation they've been successful historically yeah right you see like families whose last names 
means something. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And, and that's the thing that you don't really have in the African American culture or in the Hispanic culture is there's very few names that ring true beyond themselves. Exactly. Like uh, like OJ Simpson, beyond OJ Simpson, there's nobody. You know? Whereas Jay Z is actually like the okay, Carters, yeah, the Carters right are becoming something, something right? Yeah, yeah. The Diddy like Diddy's family is becoming something exactly. Simmons, right? Um, um what was it? Combs, no Combs, right? Combs. Combs. There's, 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 well, Russell Simmons yeah, too. Yeah. Uh, that's uh, the but uh, Dash. you know, that's, that's like people who are movie. developing. But this is a new kind of generation in comparison to historically speaking people. You know, yeah. and, and so that's where you start seeing that you know that um, this balance. Mm -hmm. But you know, you're gonna take small decisions. Exactly. People are willing to have conversations and teach other people, which is you know what what some you know people may criticize rapper, but some of these rappers are, are finally taking that stand of saying you know. We're willing to teach others and, and show others, you know, with social reforms like Big Mill, whether it's Jay Z or Diddy, you know, even Drake is jumping into that pot, you know. But this, this push people, yeah, push the T. People were saying like, you know, we're not gonna submit to a system that is not fair. We're gonna create our own table now, mm -hmm. right? And that that's gonna be the same thing with us. It has to be think, you know, long term. Like, I don't just wanna, I don't want a seat at the table. I want my own table. Right. Exactly. You get me? Where I can give somebody a seat, mm -hmm. and they don't have to wait. So they deserve it or they've earned it. No, no, no. You are you are valuable. You have value. You know, pursue that. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, you know, guys, um, uh, this is something that, you know, we, we've talked about, you know, many occasions and stuff like that. So if you guys have, you know, uh, a say in what we've talked about, something that we've missed, something that you want to critique that, you know, maybe you think we're off or maybe we think we're inexperienced at or we haven't, you know, quite seen through, uh, leave a comment down below, you know, whether you're watching this on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, whatever, you know, like, wherever it's at. You know, kind of interact, you know, I don't know, give us, put us on game too, you know, because this is something that like I kind of actually like to see and learn because, you know, maybe you're somebody who's already successful on that path to building your legacy. You know, you could put us on game. Maybe you're someone who's trying or who had no idea and now is going to like, you know, make those steps to try to make, you know, to try to better yourself and whatnot. So, you know, um, whatever, whatever your thoughts are, you know, leave them down below. Let us know what you think. Uh, once again, man, till next time, we thank you. Just, I'm down.